Welcome to a new screencast of PHTagger, an awesome web photo gallery where you can tag, browse and share your photos on your web server. So here I have a fresh installation of PHTagger version 2.2 which was released recently. Today I will show you the main functionality of this great gallery. So at the beginning you start always with the home screen. So here you have on the left side some random media and on the right side you have new media which was uploaded recently by you or others. Here our comments are listed, we haven't any. And here we have some links to the popular tags and categories. The main functionality of PHTagger is its media explorer. Here all your visible photos and videos are listed. The philosophy of PHTagger is not to see your media by their folder structure or by some album assignment. You assign metadata to your image and filter the explorer view by them. For example, today I would like to see all images within the category vacation. You can filter the view by selecting tags in the filter menu. You can include or exclude these tags. So I'm selecting the vacation. But um, I do not like the photos which are located in Italy, so I exclude them. So now only two media are left. You can also modify your selection by typing your filter manually on the top of the image list. So I remove the vacation filter. Now I see all images which are not located in Italy. I can type for example also locals. So I get recommendation that locals are a category and can select these. Further, images show its assigned metadata. These links create also filtered views. So if I go to best, I see all images which have the tag best. A nice feature is also the date link. Here you can select all images before, within the same day, within the same week or in the same month. If you select an end date, it's easily to select an interval. For example, here we select the interval of the media. Of course, the view filter works here as well. So now I see all images within the date interval of August 2009 until March 2010 without the category locals. The next core feature of the Explorer is the bulk tagging of photos. Within the Explorer menu, you can edit the metadata of selected images. The major tags are supported like tag, also known as keyword, category, location information, geotags or date. You can also rotate the images. By the way, tags and categories are comma separated, so food, comma, tomato are two tags. If you select now multiple images, tags and categories are added to the images. Location information is overwritten. It does not make sense anyway to assign more than one location. If you prefix a metadata by a minus sign, this information is removed. This can be used for typos, so I tag the photos with two O's and you can easily fix them by selecting the wrong tag. Now you select all images, type minus the wrong color, comma the right color, press apply and now all the right images are tagged. PHTagger has a group-based access control. You can also change the access rights of selected photos via the Explorer menu. Here you can define who is allowed to do what. You can set the action for the public, only for the signed in users, or users who are member of the same access group. If no one should do something, select me for private use. Within the Explorer menu, under More, you can also download all selected images by different resolutions. 
for example original file, some high resolution or some preview resolution. All files are zipped and you can download the zip file. PHTagger supports also a built-in slideshow. The slideshow shows the current selection and also reloads next pages. If you click on an image, you see the photo enlarge. By clicking on the large photo again, you will see the next photo. You can also view the previous one or the next one. On the top, you go back to the explorer. Below the image, you can view media details and also the geolocation of the map. By selecting the small image, you can access the other image as well from the map. If you have to change the metadata or the access right, you can do it here. Below the information, you can leave a comment as well. This comment is now listed on the homepage. These are now the basic features of PHTagger. Thank you for watching this screencast. See you next time.